forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Hey guys, it's Calvin, and just like last month, the most requested game was a game quite like this. It was Mad Father, and just as I finished Mad Father, and during playing Mad Father, a lot of people suggested this game called Misao, which, again, I never heard of. I heard of Mad Father, just never played it. And this is another game that I've never played before as well. So I think it might be fun to play this for Halloween month. Halloween month is uh, shorter than I expected. I'm already like 10 days into it, 9 days into it. Uh, but I've been having fun so far, so let's play Misao. Um, I haven't been told much about it, only that it's kind of uh, effed up. So let's begin. Enter the girl's name with the keyboard. Okay, so what, what will we call our girl? Uh, I really like the name Maka. What? Oh, okay, here we go. Aki? Uh, I really like the name Maka. It's uh, from a from a show that I used to watch all the time when I was a little bit younger. Help. Sure. Find me. Huh. Misao, is that you, Misao? Misao. What? Was I dreaming? No, you aren't, Maka. I thought I heard Misao. I guess it was just a dream. It's been three months. Oh no, it's so late. I'm gonna be late for school. Misao never stood out too much in her class. She was just a simple girl, really. I wasn't too close to her, but I always, but I was always worrying about Misao being alone. I hoped I could be her friend, but that didn't happen. Three months ago, Misao went missing. She wasn't coming to school, and she hadn't come home either. She had not. She's not the type to flee home. Our parents were saying that she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off. Okay. Our class spread the rumor that Misa was long dead by now. I really hope they're wrong. I wanted to be her friend. So this is a girl that uh, apparently went missing. But it's the name of the game, so I'm assuming that... Uh, find me. Okay. I'm assuming that she's a big deal in this game, so... So far the visuals, though. Uh, top notch as well. You don't expect it from these type of games. So here, and then you have the attractive teacher of Maka's class, popular with the students of his, for his generosity. Mr. Soda's cool as ever. That voice I heard in my dream, was it Miso? He just goes over, bitch! Uh, you've got guts to ignore my lecture. Geek! This information will be essential for the test, so you'd better listen. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Soda has a new suit. Is it Sota? I think it's Sota. Or Sota. Or Sot. Or Sota. Has a new suit. Like, whoa, super suave. Maka's best friend ha had a f Maka's best friend. Wait a second. Okay, I have seen this game before. I actually like um I think my friend Brandon was playing. I haven't seen I don't know what's happening or don't know the story, but I think my friend Brandon played it on his channel a while back. So okay, okay, I have heard of it, I guess. So I guess I'm not completely out of the loop. But yeah, this is still blind though. Uh Maka's best friend. A, a fad following girl who looks up to Mr. Soda. Ayaka, you've been talking him up all morning. Don't you ever get tired of blabbing? But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice and smart, and the best. Oh yeah, gotta use some hand cream. Do 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 do. Did you hear? I did. There's a rumor Miss Soda has a hand fetish. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly every day, all the time, he'll like me more. I don't really care, Ayaka. Ayaka. Don't really care, she says. <laughs> You've got no eye for men, Maka. Seriously, what do you see in the seducer like Toma? I, I never said I liked anyone. I just think he's kind of cool, that's all. Really? <laughs> yes, really.
Okay, I gotta like come up with voices for like this girl here. She's she's looking at me like she's gonna eat me or something. There's been some spooky paranormal business going on at this school. I'm getting a little freaked. Paranormal my ass. Maka's classmate, a boy, carefree in appearance, personality, everything. I'm for real. It's for real. The other day a kid in the other class got dragged away from the bathroom. Maka's classmate, leader of the bullies. There was also the glass in the third floor hallway being broken from inside. Maka's classmate, a calm, early maturing youth. Gotta be ghosts. Eek, I'm scared. Maka's classmate just- Okay guys, if you want me to not do the voices, let, tell me. Like, tell me if I'm ruining it. You know, tell me if I'm ruining it completely, okay? Uh, for short, Toma's girlfriend. Ghosts, huh? Dumbass. Th those ain't exist. Those ain't exist. Yes, of course they don't say those ain't exist. Wait. What if... This is Misao's curse? Look, this is no time for jokes. But I mean, it's totally possible. It's been three months since she vanished. Then this stuff suddenly starts. If those events... If those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshino... Then Yoshino'll be cursed sooner or later. Hmm. Whatever did I do? Yoshino, you did bully Miso a lot. Bullying? Why, I never. I was just making a little fun. And Toma always screwed with Miso. You're the one who will get cursed. Me? <laughs> I'm fine. Miso looked up to me. I wonder. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend. Miso might have a grudge. Don't sweat it, Otome. I'll protect you. Oh, you're so nice, Toma. Ha! Do what you like, lovebirds. Misao, please don't curse us. The rest are fair game, though. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> it looks like she didn't listen, guys. Oh, it's just an earthquake, okay. An earthquake. I'm using air quotations. An earthquake? What? It got dark right quick. What the heck is going on? Maybe, just maybe, it, it really is Misao's curse. Misao's real mad at us. Shut up! What the hell? I was just kidding about that curse crap. Huh? Maka? Help. Fuck, dude, we're... This is- this is gonna get into some serious situation here. Miso? Miso! I can hear her speaking to me. Oh, now it's gotta be her. Shut it! I don't hear a damn voice! Maka, you're talking crazy talk. I'm not a- Find me. Fuck, man, this is gonna get- this is gonna get serious, man. If I know RPG makers like I know them. I don't know them that well, but I know the past three ones when this shit happens. Oh. Wag! Nah. Miso? How you finally come to? Oh, that's someone else's voice. Where am I? I was just in the classroom. And who are you? <gasps> it's that guy! From Mad Father! Or maybe it's just like the same sprite. Um, I am Onigawa. Onigaro. On- I'm so bad at pronouncing names sometimes. Onigawara. Onigawara. We'll call him, we'll call him Oni. Uh, the student council present, and this is the student council room. Luckily for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. This sent those inside flying all across the school. Another world? What's that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Well, it's a curse. It's a result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in the other world. A curse? It could, couldn't be Miso. President Onigawa. Finally made it. I thought it was a goner. Oh, I love this girl's design. So you finally returned, Miss Library. She's a school vice president. Always in the library, so that's what we call her. 
So then, Miss Library, how does it look? It's messed up and gunked up and funked up. The foundation everything is wrecked, and I haven't been able to find any exits. Plus, evil spirits are going to be going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my eyes. I'll never be able to eat a hamburger again. It was frightening. Like, honestly, just I'll do a close-up right now of this girl's design. It's really cool. So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me anytime you need me. Evil spirits, the curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits and now there's nowhere to run. Um, there's only one solution, undoing the girl's curse. There's surely no other way. How am I supposed to undo a curse? By saving the girl's soul. Miss Maka, you must know what to do. You must know what is it you have to do. I do? Find me. Oh, it's find Misa. Okay. Misa was calling me. She wants to be found. Mr. Oni? I'll go look for Misa. So you will. As library informs me, the school is full of evil spirits, and yet you wish to go? I will. Because Misa is my friend. Understood. You are entrusted with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to the library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do it for you so anytime. Yes, save. Alright. You can also press C or shift to make a quick save, then delete, delete it when the game is closed. You can ask the library for... Okay, cool. So it's like a checkpoint. I pray for your safety. Okay, cool. So, guys, that's going to end the first episode of Misa. I'm sorry this episode was just kind of a heavy talking episode, but the next episode we record tomorrow will actually have a lot. And I love the sound effects here. Uh, I'm excited to play this. I didn't know... I didn't know it was this game. I've seen it around the place. Never seen it played in full. I've seen my friend play it a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy doing these blind playthroughs because I do a lot of playthroughs where I'm not blind at all. I do a lot of remasters and stuff like that. Uh, I will see you guys all uh, very soon. Uh, thank you for tuning into this episode of Halloween Month. Oh yeah, also guys, uh, leave suggestions for your favorite Halloween specials because I can put them at the start of the or the Halloween movies, and I'll put them at the start of each uh, Let's Play because uh, it's what I do with the Halloween specials.